If you've never heard of a Dutch baby pancake before, then welcome to your new favourite dessert. We're starting with the pancake part of our Dutch babies. Dutch baby pancake. Right. Three eggs, some flour, milk, and then we're going to flavour it with vanilla. But you guys said that cinnamon is great because we're making ours caramel apple. Pretty classic pancake batter. Good. Start off with just the eggs and the flour until you've got something relatively smooth, then add in the milk a little bit at a time. So we should probably explain what this is. It's somewhere between a pancake, because it's kind of pancake batter, yeah. and a Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, it's like a toad in the hole with apples instead of sausages. It's very like that. Yeah. Sometimes also called a German pancake. Oh, re really? A little bit of vanilla and a pinch of cinnamon. For the apple part of our Dutch baby pancakes, we're going to take some normal eating apples to keep some crunch, and we're just going to peel them, core them, and wedge them before frying them off in a bit of butter in the pan that we're going to cook the pancakes in. Now, you can do this in a really big pan and then cut it up afterwards, or we're going to go for individual sized Dutch baby pancakes, so we're using a smaller pan. A little bit like mowing the lawn when you get really nice stripes. There's something very satisfying about peeling an apple in one, don't you think? Once your apples have had a few seconds, got a nice golden colour on one side, flip them over and then sprinkle some sugar over the top and we're almost ready for the batter. With good caramelisation, cover it with our pancake batter, a generous ladle, and then it's going into a preheated oven, 220 degrees Celsius, for about 15 minutes till it puffs up and goes nice and golden. Now you already know this is a caramel apple yes. Dutch baby pancake. We've got some caramelisation on our apple in the pan. We need proper caramel. Caramel sauce. What we're going to do is place caster sugar and a little bit of water into a pan and then bring it up to a bubble till it all dissolves. Don't stir it, just occasionally swill it. And what you're waiting for is for the caramel to turn a deep amber colour. If you're colour blind, like me, make sure you have a friend with you who can spot that moment. It's quite a critical moment because at that point you pour in all of the cream and we're actually just going to warm the cream slightly for about 20 seconds in the microwave. So when I was testing this before, yeah. this is when I put the cream in. Okay, but it was too soon. A little bit too soon, I want too a darker soon. colour. Whoa! Still not stirring but giving it a little bit of a swill and because if we put a little pinch of sea salt in now, more people will click on the video because salted caramel is more popular. Oh, yeah. But in reality, what it actually does is cut through that real sweetness. Look at that, straight out the oven, it's puffed up, the middle sinks back down and then a nice little dollop. That's just going to melt then. Vanilla ice cream oh. before our caramel sauce. Generous drizzle, it's our salted caramel apple Dutch baby pancake, sorted. Caramel apple and cinnamon. I just had the ice cream and the caramel and that was good enough. <laughs> Look at that. Cracking job on the caramelised apples, Jay. Thank you. You've used regular eating apples to keep the crunch, haven't you? <laughs> that is correct, Michael. If you want to have this much fun with all of your friends and some Dutch baby pancakes, then get the recipe and the ingredients on sorted food. Go away. Leave me alone. He doesn't want to eat it. <laughs> he didn't want it. He might have licked it.